You what's going on guys, it's for Dragster TV here, back at it again. And today guys, we're back out here working on the Odyssey. And today I decided to give you guys a quick little tip and trick for those of you that do own a $100 little Harbor Freight 212cc Predator engines. Uh, I actually do have one here today on my 1977 Honda Odyssey FL250 that I picked up about two months ago for around $100, didn't have a motor on it, so uh, I decided to do a budget build for one of these, and the motor I picked out was the little $100 Predator, uh, Predator Harbor Freight engine that was 212 cc's. Uh, it's a bit too slow for this machine. I was uh, actually originally playing on putting a 420 on it. It was just a little bit out of my budget. Um, so I thought the 212 would be a good fit. It's just a bit too slow, so I decided I would come up with a little way uh, to free up the throttle a bit more, you know, kind of bypass the governor just a bit so I can get some more speed when going down the straightaways and turn around and whatnot. Uh, it, don't get me wrong, it is a very fun little machine, uh, but I don't think the 212 really fits it uh, just enough. So hopefully the little tip and trick uh, showing you guys how to bypass the governor just a little bit is actually just unscrewing the throttle stop. Uh, so those of you that do not know where the throttle stop is, or what a throttle stop is, you guys will learn it today in today's video. Uh, essentially frees up the throttle a bit more, uh, you know, past a bit more, or past, okay, so past where the governor is supposed to stop, just a bit. So that's what I'll be sharing with you guys today. It should gain me just a couple more miles per hour when going down those straights and make this thing just a bit more fun. And with that, I'll catch you guys with a Phillips head screwdriver, and I'm pretty sure that's all you really need. Uh, it really does help if you guys do uh, get, uh, I think it's like 8 millimeter little socket uh, to unbolt the uh, air filter case. It does help, but for me, I actually won't be unbolting it today, so all I'll be using is just a little Phillips head screwdriver. And I'll share with you guys exactly uh, what Phillips head screwdriver is and uh, everything else you guys will need. And that, I'll catch you guys at the engine. So here we are. Here is my stock 212 Predator engine. I actually do have one little upgrade. Uh, it's actually a straight pipe exhaust right there. Aside, I put on the stock muffler because it's a bit too loud for town. So, uh, you know, it fits well, but that makes it, makes it just a bit slower. That's why we are doing this mod today. All right, guys, so uh, coming on over to the seat, here is the Phillips head screwdriver. This is all you guys will be needing because the throttle stop screw is actually, let me zoom in, it's actually just right there, that one right there. All right, so what we're going to go and do oops, is just put our Phillips head screwdriver in there, and we're just going to loosen it a bit. All right, so. Let me tighten it back up just to show you guys. So I have not uh, done anything to it yet. So this is right where it stops. It can go actually a lot farther. All right, guys, let me show you guys from the top. So that is me moving that. Now from the top, watch where, uh, so right, uh, right there where it's going to hit. See, it hits that throttle stop. So that is not allowing us full throttle. So the way we're going to bypass the little governor, little throttle stop right there is just by simply loosening it. And now, look how much farther it goes. Let's see, does it even hit it? Yep, it still hits it. So we're just gonna take that puppy out of there so it goes even farther. Way past where the governor wants it to go. Now, this isn't getting inside the engine. This is a little uh, tip and trick to free up uh, some more power. To get some more power, out of your 212 Predator. It's not unbolting the engine, all right? Getting into the shaft, all right? So you unbolt that side, and then you're gonna un or you're gonna um, unbolt and rip out the 
Governor Orm. That's not what we're doing. This is just a quick little easy, quick and easy little tip and trick that you guys can do with the Phillips head screwdriver. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna just tighten it back up to where it was stock. I'm gonna go down the road, turn around. I'm gonna see what the top speed is. I'm gonna do a timed lap and then I'll unbolt the screw or un uh, unscrew it. All right, and we're gonna go down, do timed lap and then see what the top speed is. And I thought I'll catch you guys right there. All right guys, so to tell my time and uh, my speed, I will be using a speedometer app with a timer on it. All right, so as soon as I hit resume, I'm gonna uh, have that started and I'm gonna uh, go up to the line where my uh, driveway starts. I'm gonna hit resume and then bomb down the street, go down that road, turn around and come back. See how fast it is and my top speed. And then with that, I'll uh, untwist the screw all the way and um, then give it a go. See how many miles per hour uh, we can gain and then uh, how much faster my time is. With that, we'll catch you guys on the Odyssey. So the maximum speed was 14 miles an hour, average was 11, alright, and then the current speed when I had stopped it was 3, let me see, so that's the distance and the time, let's find the time, okay, so as you can see my moving time was 42 seconds, and that's pretty much it. So we just went ahead and used the screwdriver to unscrew the screw. That's as far as it goes. Uh, but we need to now fix the cable. Uh, we weren't able to actually put the cable in correctly because the cable I got was a bit too big on the end. So when I push this throttle all the way back, it does not go the full way. You guys just saw how far it went, and that's as far as it's supposed to go. So. Uh, I'll catch you guys with my time. scary <laughs> you got a lot more throttle yep uh, what's the top speed the uh, so that little little trick that little mod that I did which is just unscrewing that throttle stop screw 
man, when I just uh, full throttled the sucker right out of the driveway, right down the road, man, I just flew, got slammed back in my seat, and then flew down. And of course, the the real governor is going to kick in. But you know, that's just uh, a little way to free up some more uh, power and get just a bit faster, a bit more fun. So. That's what you guys could do. It's just really incredible. It's really fun. I've had a blast with it so far. The second I pulled down the alleyway down there, it's just a little gravel alleyway. Cop pulled out in front of me, the same one that pulled me over and on that thing, told me I couldn't ride anymore. And thank goodness he didn't pull me over because I was just in the gravel, non-city streets. So I just took it back around and that's pretty much it for today. <laughs> and with that, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure I have an amazing rest of guys' day or night. With that, catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.